All right, so as I'm sure you can hear, someone's fast and nefarious in it around here somewhere. Uh, but late Sunday night, uh, we're gonna head out to the dumpsters. But I want to show you real quick. Picked up the ceiling fan on the way home. I seen it on the next block over, and then I stopped Wednesday at the gutter place and picked up a small little load. Then, as you can see, it's everything's wet. It's been raining most of the day. It's actually raining again right now. Uh, I kind of forgot about that because I don't normally uh, bring the GoPro out if it's raining because I don't want it to get wet. And I don't want it to get ruined because obviously it's a $300 camera. I don't want it to ruin it. So, uh, but I figured I'd show you that. I showed you this bit already. I'm pretty sure last week, random crap chains got brought home. So, uh, but I want to show the fan and. Um, the trailer from the stuff I got earlier in the week. So we'll head out. I think uh, we'll do the first part, maybe the other half. I don't know. We'll see. These cars are really loud. They gotta be not that far away. They can't be that far. I'm thinking on the main road over there, but I don't know. They're quite loud and obnoxious, that's for sure. So we'll see. Alright, so I'm about to head out now. I said, someone did call the cops about the fast and the fair guys, and they just found them. I mean, I would have found them when I went over to um, the area, because it's over that way, so. No, that's where the fast and the fair is, they found them. I say, because it was going, and then it kind of like stopped. Then I heard it kick up again, a couple players squeal. And now obviously it stopped again, because the cops were out with them. So, I said, I would have found them. And uh, 10 minutes it takes me to get over there, so that was a little drive by. I'll show you. All right, on the street where they are on, <laughs> they're way down there, though. So maybe I wouldn't have seen them because they're like way down there. But one of the cars is leaving now. I think they're just you know advising them to take a hike. But no, maybe I wouldn't have seen them because this road goes down fairly far, and they're far down there, that's for sure. Ugh. So, we'll head out and uh, go to our normal dumpster driving. It's one of the cops coming now. Whew. Well, they were loud, I'll tell you that much. Ugh. Yeah, I do. Alright, we'll go back out to our normal diving and we'll hear. I'll be able to hear them if they kick back up. Because uh, where the route is, it's right by where this is. <sighs> nope, we'll head out. But since it's not that oh, big of a deal, just some Fast and the Furious wannabes. Alright, back to our normally scheduled dumpsters. Oh, you guys can't see. There's a freaking deer over there. <laughs> Bambi did out there. Hi, Bambi. I don't know if you can see her on the blinding light right there. Hi, Bambi. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, just Bambi casually. Okay, they cleared out the parking lot. And our dumpster now over there, and all the cars are shoved back and out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I just saw the one deer, and now there's the other one in the front yard. Okay, go back over that way. Wonder if the car scared the shit out of them. I'm fast in the free air, over there. All right. All right. As long as you stay over there. Oh, there's a little piece right there. Oh, it's like just out of reach, of course. Not really anything here. Hi, Bambi. Oh, I guess I can't see Kenny. Oh, looking it back that way. Yeah, they probably got scared from Fast and the Furious and kind of ran over here. Oh, come here. Oh, is this plastic? Is this plastic? It sounds like it. Is it plastic? Yeah, this is plastic. 
All right, well, nothing at door. So we're only gonna hit this little part. I don't wanna head to the other part because it's, you know, a cold, rainy, crappy night. So I don't wanna bother with that. And I was sick earlier in the week, like Wednesday night when I went and got that gutter stuff. I probably shouldn't have done that. I mean, had a sore throat and then I was sick the next day, nose was stuffed. And it still kind of is. Uh, the neighbor's baby got me sick. I was holding him. Uh, I was holding him. He was sneezing on me because he had an ear infection. So I was holding him. He kept sneezing on me. So <laughs> he got me sick. Uh, I think you can still hear me. Still have the sniffles. Oh, empty. Under I was saying, who knows what the dumpsters will even have because it's Columbus Day tomorrow. So, my schedule is also screwed up because Friday I forgot to do with the neighbor's yard like I normally do. Um, and I didn't have time to do it yet. But yesterday, I do it today, but then it was raining. It's been raining all day, so I didn't do that. I have the chance to do it. But I'll have to get pushed back till tomorrow. I didn't feel like going out last night to do dumpsters like I normally do. Because I'm thinking I have to go out, because otherwise I, with Sunday, I don't have time to do yard, trash route, and dumpsters. I don't have time to do all three. So, then I remembered, oh, it's Columbus Day. I don't have to do trash route tonight. That's tomorrow night's problem. And I uh, figured, well, I can push dumpsters till tonight. Just do that tonight. Trash tomorrow. Uh, and then, you know, do the yard earlier in the day. Oh, cleaners has got to roll off. I figured they would. Here soon, they had a lot of pallets stacking up. But I figured they'd need to get one. Here soon. I'm kind of surprised they don't just have, like, a permanent one. And if they wait every like, month or two. Of course, they don't really have space for a permanent roll off I guess I mean they kind of do where it sits yeah I see there's wood in it and all the crap that's normally over here is is not so I presume it's in the it's in the roll off oh, some wood over here oh um, not empty but it's not empty. I guess it's empty. Alright, the roll off slump, I guess, just got a bunch of wood in it. Ugh. I'll go check it out. But actually, with being sick, I probably still shouldn't be out here. Out in the dark. Out in the cold and wet. I'm not good considering the infections I had when I have a sinus. Really, there's no no ladder, seriously. I have to make one. Oh, the corner. Oh. Hold on, guys, sorry. Oh, it does look like it's all just wood. There might be some metal in the front. I can't see it. I can't really see in this freaking thing. Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing to climb on. Ugh. Yeah, I can't even see in the front. Oh. So this thing open. Will it open nicely? Maybe I'll just open it and have a peek. That. Take that off. Seriously? Come on. There you go. Off and open. Open. There we go. And open sesame. Oh, a bunch of soup. A bunch of dumpster juice. 
Oh, oh yeah, there's a floor machine. That's what I saw right there. Oh, fridge door. Oh, it's probably a fridge buried over there then. Okay, so if there is any scrap, it's freaking buried in the front. And I'm not getting it. Yes. Yeah, the door. Oh, hi, B. Ooh, is it plastic? Yep. Yeah, so if there is anything, it's buried in the front. All right, well, I don't know these boxes, right? No, packing stuff. Oh, well. Well, it's good to know this is here. We'll have to keep checking. Oh, juicy. All right, well, it's good to know that it's here. I'll have to keep checking it. Hopefully, if not, we just came out here for the fun of it. All right, you see this. Let's see. Uh, some stuff in here. In a pile, but it looks like a pile of garbage. Uh, check the other side. Check it from the other side, but this just looks like a bunch of garbage. Looks like we just came out here to not get better. Ooh. There we go. Let's look for it. Drunk. Boxes. Ooh, is that copper? Oh hell yeah. There we go, copper. There we go. Kind of, some, uh, kind of random, but oh, come here, extension cord. All right, nice handful of copper. Not expecting that. Kind of just, kind of random. Like last time when I found all that copper, that made sense at least. There was all the, that was cool stuff. Filter in what we want. Okay, any more copper? Now that's what I'm here for. I want a couple of wire. Let's see. It's a little hard with the light on. Uh, copper wire. Ash, whatever the hell these things are. Sensor pad with connector. Whatever the hell that means. Take that. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, oh no, that's not copper. A little bit more wire. No, I thought that was copper. Steel. Uh, more copper? That's all I care about. Copper? Uh, copper wire? Well, we're getting it in the form of wire. Not the worst, but that's better. Filter. We have filters. It doesn't really look like there's anything else. Uh, tubes, fuel, sender. What the hell? Whatever the hell this is. Aluminum, maybe? Rolling. Yeah, whatever these things are. I feel like aluminum. Light enough. Um. Oh, there's another bigger tube back there. Let's check that. 
I'm gonna pop into that one. Oh, let's see, who knows? Just the core. cord. Uh, bracket. Cover. Dual cover. Another extension cord. Uh, stainless steel on. Bracket. Or whatever you want to call it. Stainless steel, but they don't use stainless hardware, so they end up always just having to cut it. You know, the hardware doesn't want to come off because it's not seamless. I came up with that kind of more on. Oh, what is this? Some truck part. Is that more wear? Yep. I guess I probably should put the <coughs> trailer closer, shouldn't I? Oh, and also my strap broke. That I normally have in here. It done broke. Need a new strap. I probably should put the trailer closer, but whatever. Uh, let's see where was I? Ooh. Scanner falling out of my pocket. Feeds down. I have to bring my scanner with me, which I hate doing. It's always in my way. Uh, or else, let's get in on the other side. It's not all my. So my goodies are not right in the way. Well, shouldn't have to worry about crap falling on my shorts now, though, either, because I got pants on now. It was pants weather. It's time to bust out the pants. No, oh, it's just empty tube. It's kind of be nice, nice shipping tube, but not ever. Maybe have to ship it too long like that. What is this? Hydraulic filter. Okay, I don't think I really need to get in. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I could have really avoided getting in. Oh, well, that made it worth another piece of copper. Or we can use that as the justification. I'm looking for any more copper. A little bundle of wire. And the bag are under it. There really was not a reason to get in here. A bunch of rings. Hey, at least we found a little bit of copper. Cable for something something remote starter. Uh, remote starter for something on oh, one of the rigs. Oh. Alright, well the copper kind of made it worth coming out. So um I do have to check the gutter place again. Not that I really think they have them. Are gonna have much. I think the season's kind of winding down for them. Because I'd imagine they're not <coughs> really a, you know, year round. Um, doing a year round installation here. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna start to fall off. Like I kind of, you know, you could tell with the Wednesday with there not being a lot, it's, it's gonna start falling off. Or they've wised up and they're, you know, throwing less out. Because, you know, they realize that we're throwing out money here. Especially when, you know, they're driving past it every day. Being at my house in the, in the bins on the side of the house. So, we'll check the gutter place real quick. Other than that, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Alright. It's kind of bright. I don't know about this.
for bottles. <laughs> out at home. Not a big deal. Not much. One bottle of scrap. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, so many bottles. So I said I think they're winding down. for the year. little pieces. That's why I said I'm not sure if they slowed down or they've wised up the money that's rolling away. Take a look in the other side, but yeah, it doesn't look like much at all. Nope, see, not the tire. <laughs> not the same crap as earlier in the week. So I said they must be slowing down. Bad whole bottles. <sighs> Alright, so tonight kind of ended up becoming a disaster. Um, so, for starters, the GoPro um, had pretty much no battery left from um, last night. And then I grabbed a battery that apparently was dead. I thought it was, I thought it was good. But it's not. Uh, so I've so I had no GoPro very much. Um, not that there really was anything to show you, other than this lamp that I just picked up over there. Um, the little uh, battery-powered Black and Decker piece of junk we eat here, and these two Toro bags, lawnmower bags. So there apparently might have been mowers that got uh, someone else took. So. I'm definitely pretty sure someone else was out before 
or I know for a fact someone was out before now, you know, earlier in the day. And then while I was out on the last two streets, as I'm coming up the one to go down the other, here comes the white pickup truck, which actually literally right when I pulled in and started before I started recording, drove, just drove up the street. And then I was on the next street picking up the Toro bags. Here comes a truck down the street with a trailer. I've never seen this one, uh, the, the guy before. Here he comes going past me. I'm like, great. Now there's three of us out in the area, and there's nothing out here. You know, there's nothing to begin with, so. Uh, there's pretty much nothing to begin with. Uh, and what is out here, you know, they're going to get it. But I was surprised because that was over there. But then with that white pickup truck just going past, I think that I know why I got it. Because uh, I think it's a she, actually. I always thought it was a guy. I don't know. I couldn't get a, a good look as they drove by. But I think it was a woman coming up the street. So I'm like, oh, that's why I got it. They haven't got over there yet. But I seen they had, um, like, a chair set and crap that I saw on a street over there. So, but that shouldn't have taken them that long to load. Um, I seen they had a washer in the back. So that was about it. That I could see in the trailer guy. He had some bunch of small stuff in the trailer. Some fans. I seen a fan that was like the thing that stood out to me. A couple other smalls. Um, but I don't know where he went. I don't know if he left the area or what. Because uh, I was you know, coming up and he turned off. But I seen him stop at a pile. There's two lawn bags. Like how do you not see that in your from your truck? That's lawn bags. So. And then just kept on going. So. Like I said not a great night. Uh, just, you know, crappier stuff. But James might find the, um, Toro bags useful, so. We'll see about that. Oh, uh, there's stuff from last night. I gotta, gotta clean out the tra clean out the trailer. So, I'm gonna get this, uh, taken apart. Well, no, I'll see you guys next week. Alright, so, we're, uh, the video's not done. We're... We had, to, uh, we had to go to storage because I have two things I need to pull, uh, two sales that I need to pull. They're here at the storage unit, and I figured, well, we might as well hit next door. You know, the roll off that had been hitting um, that last week, it just had the same stuff and hadn't been emptied yet. So we went back and hit it, and it was loaded. So James, James grabbed these because they got, um, you know. Let, you know, outlets, and there's wire on it and that, so, you know, just pull the stuff off of that. But the crazy stuff is in the truck. Oh, storage unit, you can't, <laughs> can't even see it. It's much more organized now. Very nice. Uh, I say, it's, oh, yeah. Say, so shine your light in this truck. <laughs> can't see a thing. Good. There we go, you can kind of see it. Tons and tons of wire, especially this, um, blue Right here, this was a huge mile long freaking spool of it. It's there's a ton of it. It's not the greatest wire. Uh, but it's the wire, some motors as well. Uh, nice motors, but yeah, like I said, there's a ton of it. Tons and tons of wire again. And motors, so. Yeah, originally came here because this needs to be dropped off and I need to pull two things. But I said I wanted to hit that dumpster since I didn't do it uh, yesterday. Uh, which, uh, too bad I didn't just go and hit it, because I would have had to come here probably two or three times. Oh, probably twice, at least, with these motors and that, and I wouldn't have been able to get that. I wouldn't have been able to get any of this crap, that's for sure. I would have just, you know, cut off whatever wire I could see kind of thing. And, uh, the rest of this would have all been left. This is all wood, too. It's... Oh, yeah, it's not. It's like a plastic. I thought it was wood. Too bad it's not metal, that would obviously would have made this much better, but yeah, interesting. It's not even wood. Alright, well, I had to show you guys that. 